It's always funny when I'm asked to describe the connection between oral health and systemic health. The mouth is part of the body, the head is part of the body, but uh, unfortunately for historical reasons, oral health has been separated out from medical health. Researchers before me have studied um, medical conditions, for example diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and how that is impacted by oral health. What we have chosen to do is look at specific medical procedures and uh, measure the impact of periodontal health. What are the downstream consequences for patients who have periodontal disease and for patients who do not? We're finding differences as we always do because the mouth is connected to the rest of the body and infection in the mouth impacts overall well-being. I think also a lot of society is under stress. Stress and the ways we deal with it, um, eating, drinking, neglecting our own healthcare, all these things have impacts on oral health and people who were previously low risk suddenly have high risk and a lot of cavities. Medical insurance does not include dental insurance often. In an ideal world, oral health insurance must be a basic part of medical insurance. In healthcare policy, we have a long way to go. Legislators have a very challenging job. State budgets are limited and oral health is one of those things that people think can be parceled out and removed and then not funded or funded in a very limited way. But we are studying now what happens when we don't fund those things. There's about 50,000 people a year that end up in the ER with a basic dental complaint and 70% of them had Medicare or Medicaid with negligible coverage and access to dental services. So if we were to transfer those resources, that money, to giving these people preventive dental care in the first place, I wonder what our health system would look like. We would open up ER beds and we would, we would, we would just change um, health outcomes in the state of Michigan, I think. In terms of disparities in oral health, every study seems to come back to the people that do the worst are black Americans, Hispanic Americans, Native Americans, and I never intended to be a race researcher, but now I feel that addressing race in healthcare is an incredibly important thing. We looked at CDC data from an oral health survey for 15 or 16 years, and what we found is there is a large, persistent gap for black Americans compared to every other American. Everyone was improving, so there was equality, but there was this persistent gap for black Americans, which means there was no equity. And most of the problem lies in the disparities there is in the way that minorities, underrepresented minorities, access resources, gain wealth, and that sort of thing.